Bobber up! Everybody, the bobber flew out of the water. Hand it up, give it to Alex. There you go. Well, everybody, if you can tell by the barking and by the fact that the camera's shaky and weird, it's because the camera guy's fighting a fish. It's the end of the day. We're limiting out on this fish. It's gonna be a good one. After we leave here, me and Marlon are doing a nice little salmon cook-off. So let's get the camera guys fish in the boat. Let's do this. You guys don't know about these gloves right here, addicts. These things are next level. Pop off. You guys have seen them on pop off a million times, but now we all are got. Now we're all rocking them. The cool thing about these addicts is they're an eight mil glove, so they <laughs> you really can wear like one pair of gloves all day and not have to switch it. The other cool thing is it has a really nice like little textured grip on there. They're super nice. They're obviously more expensive, but I think it's worth it. I'll take it. And three, two, one. Aw. Made a liar out of me. Oh yeah, it might happen here. This might happen. Oh my god, what the hell was that? I don't, did you see that? Is that a fish? It is. It, it is, is. tip down, tip down, tip down to the right. There you go. He's in the log. He's in the log. For sure. Go tip up again, tip up again. Oh, we're good. The most subtle spring chinook ever hooked. <laughs> no, he's big one. He's running now. There you go up again. Those on, those on your special legs. The addictor. The addictor. Oh, and there was a chunk of uh, millennial coon in there, too. He starts taking way off. Let's go to the bank and we'll follow him on foot. We shouldn't leave this yet. No, we can't leave this. So let me pull the anchor, Jeff. I'm gonna start just slowly walking him up river. Just don't do anything. Let's pull the big day pop off on him. Just hold him there, walk the dog. So what I'm doing everybody is I'm trying to row back up river with this fish on with Jeff, pulling it down deep in the water, trying to let it not go out of the tail out. Worst case scenario, we're gonna chase this thing down river. But I'm trying to just slowly work my way back up river, walking the dog. He might be, might be closer than we think now. How's your line looking? Okay, lift it, lift it again. Let's see. Oh, we're dialed. We're dialed. We got him. Down, down, down. Get him back down. This fish doesn't even know it's hooked yet, you guys. Really doesn't. I don't feel like it does. Do you have a net? Yep. A landing net. Where's he at? Oh, here we right, go, he's baby. Coming right here. I'm gonna go a little further, Jeff, since we got him. He's right here on the bank. All right. Oh yeah, he's ours. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. A bunch so of everybody, if you've noticed this fish hasn't kicked. I haven't touched it on the head yet. That bait is so deep in its mouth with the addicted cure that this fish is dead by the time we got it to the bank. So thank God it was a hatchery fish. Way to go, Jeff. <laughs> it literally is dead. <laughs> That's insane. Soul, third cast. Good work, boys. Fish? He's got one. Nice one. Nice yeah. one. Keep his head down. Keep his head down. Ah, oh, stay on there. Don't do that. Don't do that. What is it? It looks like a salmon, dude. It's a hatchery, too. It's a hatchery. Oh, oh, God. It's a really nice hatchery. So, fish. Addicts, so, the law is Jeff can still fish because we're allowed to catch steelhead. But you can't land two salmon because your limit's one. So what we're gonna do, because we know this is a hatchery fish and we wanna get our limit today, I'm just gonna be the handoff guy and we're gonna land this thing. Oh yeah. What a butterball! It's a wild, it's a wild. Is it? Yeah, it's a wild, keep in the water. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, team. Woo! Yes, freaking getting it done. On the fly, too. We, so we were just talking about it, too. We are like, I've never got one just floating down. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. So again, Axe, what I was trying to explain is, so you can keep one steelhead and one salmon in this river that we're fishing. And so the second we realized that this was a salmon, because we want to be able to keep it, Jeff just hands the rod off to me. I land the fish. We're still legal. Now we got two in the box. 
and I just started reeling. And there's head shake. So he was he was munching it the whole time. <laughs> it looks like it too. He actually got a little lettuce in there. He's eating veggies too. He's making sure. He must have had a tummy ache. <laughs> towards me a little bit more, right there. Oh, what the f is that? That was a bobber up. Nope. Bobber up, everyone. Madness. Hey, fish. Yeah. You gotta go down. All right, Jeff, I'm gonna go to the stomach that rod. Was that a fish the whole time, Jeff? I doubt yeah. it. Here's well, I think we'll call that one the old, nah, let's skip it. <laughs> Works every time. <laughs> Once again, Jeff saving the day. Thank you, Papa Jeff. Today is Jeff's 15 minutes of fame. So Jeff is one of Marlon's best friends in the world. And we've filmed a lot of different episodes with him, and it seems most of the time he's the one getting screwed over. But today, he's the one setting the pace. <laughs> Here we go. You. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, brother. Nice job, man. <laughs> the bobber started swimming. That was cool. Cause I think you. It was in the glare, and I, I had to sit there for a second. I go, is that down? And then it just went 14 feet to the left. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> That's love in the eyes right like there. Oh, the bobber! Alex, here, Alex, give me the camera. I'm all bent up. Give me the camera, Alex. I'm all bent up. I'm all bent up. Alex is gonna take his first springer. Bobber up! Everybody, the bobber flew out of the water. Hand it up. Give it to Alex. There we go. There we go. Hope you're good. You're good. Alex has never caught a springer, Alex. Really determined to see this thing. Yeah, good job, Alex. Just keep that thing down. Low to the left. Low to the left. Chaos. Chaos. Bobber ups. Bobber ups for days, everybody. Yep, keep it down. Keep it down. Oh. He says bye bye. He saw Jordan and got super. He saw these bare hands. He got scared. <laughs> Look at the determination on his face. <laughs> the old bobber up. Freaking hardcore bobber up now. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. A lot of times when you're fishing these bobbers, it'll actually like come up because up in the net. <laughs> Hatchery? Yep. <laughs> oh, he's pooping it out. Yes, he is. He's freaking pooping blood. That's a little testament again, everybody. This fish ate it so good. He's <laughs> <laughs> eating blood. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The bait is gone. You can't even see it. Bobber ups for days. <laughs> you can't even see it, dude. Alex, nice job, dude. Heck yeah. First Springer. And we're going to use the old smart water for the bonker here. <laughs> Because these things are so precious, we're going to harness every little bit of meat that we can off of them. I'm going to take these collars off, and the way I like to do this, and this is probably the thing that people cut themselves doing the most while they're fishing or flaying a fish. So the thing is, is always cut away from yourself. You're going to make that one incision down to the back of the head, you'll hit that spine, and then you go one away from your hand, just like that, and that should pop right out. Just like that. Cut those gills, and then right under the chin, put that piece. There you have it. Salmon wings. These are also very delicious. 
There's a big chunk of meat in here. That might be my favorite bite on the whole fish right there. So I'm gonna save those two. All right, addicts, we're in the kitchen, and tonight we're doing a salmon cook-off with me and Jordan. So, you guys have you guys met my dog right here? This is Finn. Sit, sit, Finn. Good boy. This is Ben. Hey, sit, stay. This is Bentley. This is my old man, and this is Royce. That's my old man too. Okay, so we're in my kitchen. We're gonna do a salmon cook-off. So I don't know what Jordan's doing for his recipe, but what I'm gonna do on my salmon is kind of like a sweet heat. And I do this a lot. What I use is like a garlic chili sauce. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second, but first of all, I got my salmon here. It's all prepped. So all I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna grab some aluminum foil here. And to start off the salmon, I'm not really gonna do anything. I'm gonna put the salmon directly on the grill with some salt and pepper, and that's literally it. That's all we're gonna put on this fish to start. Now, this sauce that I'm gonna make is what's gonna give us most of the flavor, and then obviously just the flavor from the salmon um, that you get just naturally. I, I typically like to have my salmon pretty natural with not a lot of stuff on it, because I just enjoy the flavor of Springer. So, let's get going here. So I'm just gonna do a light dusting of salt and pepper here. Not much, just a little dicing. And I'm actually gonna put this salmon right down on the grill. I'm not even gonna use this tin foil. I'm just gonna put this salmon right on the grill without being it on the tin foil. I'm gonna push, put it skin side down right on the grill. Okay, so to start, I got my Green Mountain Grill here. I love cooking salmon on these things because it's really, really hard to mess them up. If you pay attention to the temperature, you get a nice smoky flavor. So I got the grill set to 350. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. And I'm literally, guys, just, I'm just gonna put this salmon skin side down right on the grill. Just like so. Okay, so we got the salmon on the grill skin side down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a timer on my watch here for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, we'll be right back. Okay, now for the wild card recipe. We're going the shoulder piece. Marlon's got a little slight advantage. He's got the fattier piece, but this is my favorite piece to cook anyway, so I'm happy with it. But we're going real simple here. We're going a little lemon pepper, not too much salt. Again, you really don't want to over salt these fish. It has such a rich flavor to start with. You don't want to add too much stuff that covers it up. So let's go with a normal, a little bit of normal pepper here. There we go. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of minced onions. And of course, guys, we wanna see your comments as we do this little challenge on what you're liking from the get-go. Which one of these recipes you think is gonna be better from the start? Marlon loves this simple recipe. I love mine with a little pizzazz. So we're gonna try them both, but I wanna see the feedback from all you guys out there on what you prefer. So the next, we're going with jalapeno a holy. And aholi is a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of uh, lemon juice, a couple other ingredients depending on what the seasoning is. But this has probably just has a little bit of mayonnaise, a little minced jalapenos, and a little bit of, of uh, lemon juice. So that'll be plenty, plenty of flavor for a thing here. I'm just gonna go a nice little sporty squirt here. Ooh, and it's even got the presentation. Let's get it on the grill. competition begins. Okay, well now I'm gonna make my sauce that's gonna get put onto the salmon just before it's done. So all we're doing here is I got a half teaspoon of pepper. And I'm not like Jordan, I have to measure everything out and I have to remember by the pictures that I've taken of the recipes that I've made over the years. So I have to cheat. Then I got a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then we got two tablespoons of sriracha. One. Two. Now, we're gonna do two tablespoons of honey. And I found this honey at the store. Let me know if you guys have seen this. It looked really good. It's from the Northwest. It's got alfalfa, aster, berries, clover, and wildflowers to make this stuff. Raw and unfiltered local hive. Looks like it's made in Oregon, which is pretty sweet. So, thought it looked tasty. Let's give it a whirl here. 
we're gonna do two teaspoons of this, which we may have to do a little extra because it's probably not gonna come out of here very good. Yeah, there's still a little on there, so we're just gonna give it one little squirt dial. Now, one teaspoon of lime juice. I'm gonna use a little more just because that honey's messing it up. Now, the final ingredient, chili garlic sauce. This stuff is bomb if you've never used this. We're gonna do two teaspoons of this as well. It's, in some of these recipes, it, it asks to put fish sauce in there, but I'm just not that big a fan of fish sauce, so I leave it out. But if you'd like, you can add a fish sauce as well in there, and uh, it'll add a little bit more flavor to it if you like that. Ooh, this stuff smells good. I just flung some onto my wife's counter. She's gonna kill me. All right, two teaspoons here of the chili. And I'm gonna go a little heavier on this just because this is my favorite part. So we're gonna do two big teaspoons. Just gonna freaking give it a nice whisk. Now what this is gonna do, everyone, it's gonna give you a nice like, again, this is like a sweet heat salmon. So it, you got enough heat, you got, the, you got the spiciness from the chili garlic sauce, as well as the sriracha, and then you got the sweet from the honey. So I really, really love it. It tastes great on any sort of salmon. What's gonna happen is after about 15 minutes, once that salmon's gotten to a good temperature, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna put this on the salmon just, just with this basting tool right here. There it is. The sauce is ready. Okay, to pair with me and Jordan's salmon, I'm gonna make some of this rice and pasta blend savory chicken flavored rice. It's really, really good. A lot of these, a lot of these little sides are good. They're probably not very good for you, but they're delicious. So I'm gonna pair this with my salmon and I also have some asparagus that I'm gonna make. All right, now we're sauced up here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna set another timer, Addicts, for 10 minutes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and temp the salmon. I like to temp mine just to make sure I don't overcook it and also to make sure I don't undercook it. I'm not a chef like Jordan, so I gotta make sure I use the thermometer. I think they both have about five more minutes. All right, so they're about at 137 right now, so I think they got about five more minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer on my watch again for five minutes. We should be good to go. We're done, addicts. Salmon's complete. Oh, we better temp Jordan's just to make sure. Hold on, I'll do my temp test. Oh yeah, it's good. <laughs> wow, look at that masterpiece. Wow. All right, time for the JK special. Don't be touching my fish with that thing. Presentation's not quite there because I had to try a bite. Jordan, what piece do you want our taste tester to taste? Okay, what taste, which piece does the judge get? I think she needs this one right here. I wouldn't give her a big one. Yep, right there. That's the one. That's the award winner. Here's our taste tester right here. Yeah, Judge Haley in the Stop house. Stop being annoying. <laughs> Very similar pieces. She loves salmon, so we'll see which one she likes more. Yep, just try it. Hints of love. Got okay. Got of spice. Okay. Pretty tasty. Drum roll, please. What is it? Which one? Okay, which one do you like more? <laughs> Winner! Chef Marlin takes the crown! Oh, oh man. It's all right. Every dog has his day. Yeah. Or every fish has his plate, if you know what I'm saying. And we made sure she didn't know whose was whose, so because it would have been biased. She probably would have picked me if I told her which one was mine. <laughs> but she picked mine anyway, so I win. Well, I'm excited to try yours now. Now I'm just ready to eat this stuff. We've all been sitting here drooling over it, so Sean, got to get Sean a plate. Here you go, dude. 
Jordan. Little. Guys, I got some asparagus that we made here. We got some tasty little rice. Let's dive in, boys. I'm gonna take the tailpiece right here. I want this little piece with lots of sauce. My conjecture. Mmm. Nice smoky flavor. Great little pepper spice to it. Does almost taste like smoked fish. And let's go with the A-Holy one. The Jesus fish. Mmm. Well that's a tough, that's a tough taste test. She should have had to like sniff some coffee or something in between. Because your flavor carries over to my flavor. Does it? A little bit. A little bit. Rematch. I'm calling for a rematch. I like them both. Mm -hmm. I like the aioli. I've done the aioli a lot. I like the garlic aioli. It's my favorite in yeah. that same brand. Um, but this is one of my favorite ways to cook it because I'm just, I like like that chili garlic sauce and yep. I just like stuff that's like Asian kind of inspired and got a little bit of heat to it. So shout one out thing to I will say about a filet of fish, if you're going to put a whole filet of fish on the grill, I never cook the whole thing the same way. And I'm sure you're the same. Yep. I never cook the whole thing the same way. I'll either cut it in the thirds and make each piece a different flavor, just kind of for the crowd, especially if you have a bunch of people that don't like one particular style of fish. Like me, I hate anything that's just lemon and onions. So I like this different variety of flavors. We got that aholy, which is a nice mellow flavor. We have yours, which is smoky and spicy. If we're gonna do one more, might have done it with no seasoning at all. So keep that in mind if you do get a fish and you have company over, try different methods for each piece of the fish. Nonetheless, it's still Springer. Sean, try it. There's Marlins. Yep. I really like that flavor from the sauce. It's very smoky, huh? There's Jordan's. It's really good, too. You see what I mean, though? You can taste his while you're eating mine. Yeah. It does. It, the I spice feel, has like a kick yep. in it. Yeah, I feel like if carries. I was the judge, it'd be a tie. Ooh. 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 <laughs> if Sean likes him a cook off. What about you, Little? There's dads. There's dads. Hold on, let's try uncles. What do you think of uncles now? I think dads. No, he's still licking his lips off. He's like, give me some more, give me some more. Well, I must say, there's nothing like pairing an awesome day on the river with friends with an awesome meal at the end of the night. If you guys want to see more fun videos just like you saw here today, go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down here, hit subscribe. Please turn those bells on and hit that thumbs up and comment below and you can be the comment of the day just like this guy right here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.